Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bonser of Radio Retro Future, and today we're gonna do a let's play of Iron Harvest, the alpha that has come out this week, uh, published by King Art Studios. It's a game that I've been anticipating for a while. Uh, for those uh, that are uh, with us for a while, may recognize the art style, uh, some of the, uh, especially these images. Which are made years ago by our very own Jacob Rosalski, a very well-known game uh, concept artist. Um, when he started making these drawings, it really inspired a lot of people to create their own gaming universes. The first one being a board game called Scythe, which I still intend to review at some point. But yeah, the art of this game is genuinely amazing. But can they turn it into a three-dimensional RTS? That is the big question. And here we have the first alpha by King Art Studios to see, can they do it? Can they actually make this work? Um, the board game Scythe has been a great success. Beautiful art design, well made. I also done an interview with its creator. For those people that want to see it, I'll put it in the description just to be sure. Now, um, like I said, this is an alpha. That means this is just a first impressions a type of deal. Uh, like you can see, all the graphic settings are not uh, available. Um, audio settings, those are available. Uh, you can start doing some uh, simple interface uh, modifications. You can also change the AI difficulty, but we'll uh, start with easy um, because I'll be talking a lot as well. So. Don't make, want to make it too difficult for me. Well, there are uh, un only two game modes right now. The campaign, they ha don't ha are not started on that yet, so that's unfortunate. Uh, the missions, well, we have a skirmish, um, which is, well, for those that are familiar with Company of Heroes or Dawn of War, you have to capture victory points on the map and keep a hold of them. Um, meanwhile, uh, a timer goes down. Uh, they only have one map right now, which is the Abandoned Railway Station. A very small map for two players. Uh, I like it, um, but we're not going to play today. There are some other uh, things they want to do, like the amount of resources you uh, generate during the game, uh, unit limits. Um, you can also adjust the rules. Uh, pretty basic fare for these type of games. However, I do like this. This is the bonus next to... Uh, the difficulty of the AI, which I'm not sure why they haven't put it in, in, in this uh, menu. Then again, this is alpha, so I'm, I'm sure they'll put uh, different levels of AI in the game, uh, which is pretty standard fare for these type of RTS games. Uh, but yeah, you can, uh, like, uh, the maximum amount of uh, game time you're allowed to have, uh, the amount of units you're allowed to lose, uh, the, the number of health your units possess. As you can see, it will also increase this bar. Um, not sure if that does anything beyond, you know, the prestige of doing so, um, but I'm sure that will all uh, become visible by the time uh, the second alpha launches in November, in which case it will also include things like multiplayer, which it doesn't do yet. Right now, for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna do the last stand challenge. I'm wondering what other challenges they put in here. The last stand is basically we have to survive 10 waves of enemy attacks. We have our goals here. Can also change our sort of own challenges here. So I'm really curious what they're gonna do. I really like this. I really do. Uh, and I hope they'll make it more elaborate. Um, it's, it's fine the way it is, but uh, you know, it, it has a lot of potential and I wanna see it all happen. Of course! Now the reason I have this um, alpha is because I uh, participate in the Kickstarter, so it's not available for purchase yet. Uh, maybe um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be an early access version when the beta comes around. I'm not a big fan of early access, I must say. I, I made some mistakes in that regard as well, like uh, Clockwork Empires being a good example of this. However. Uh, in this case, I can say that Iron Harvest, as it is currently, it has a very solid foundation. It isn't there yet, and I'll make more note of that later on. They still have a long way to go, but the foundation itself is pretty solid, and I have not encountered as many bugs as of yet. Uh, correction, I just encountered one. I can't zoom in or out. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna restart the game for a moment. Okay, I start the game up again, and as you can see, I can now zoom in and out. 
as God intended. Um, so, yeah, for those that are familiar with Company of Heroes, this is all pretty standard fare. Um, so yeah, nonetheless, um, like I said, also alpha, so a lot of features do not work yet. Uh, for example, I cannot make attack moves currently with infantry, only with mechanized units. Um, right now my units are picking up a cannon, as you can see, which will turn my basic infantry into gunners, which are basically anti-vehicle units, uh, which is a very useful thing indeed. Now I already played this uh, game a number of times, so I, I know where everything is at this point, um, in case you are wondering. And here we have some mecha enemy mechanized units. And I hope my infantry can engage it. Um, so yeah, a little, uh, little bit uh, of cheating here. Now we can also build engineers, which can construct uh, other units. As of yet, this is not uh, going too well. But maybe. All I need, really, is to... Uh, No, oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh well. Fortunately, I've more infantry left, and the oil pump has been captured, which is really all I wanted to achieve. So we're gonna retreat with the infantry. Meanwhile, uh, my mech is fighting off this infantry. This is an anti-infantry mech. Bit underwhelming right now. Uh, for those that are familiar with Dawn of War, it's very similar to the ability the Dreadnought has. Um, yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit underwhelming. I hope they change that because, it's, you know, it, it just should be an infantry killer and its special ability doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, what are you doing? All right, they were not supposed to do that. But that's okay. Um... Okay, you can uh, capture that. Or HQ, which we must defend in this mission. I can also build uh, basic units like the engineers and or standard infantry. Um, here we can also construct some... Oh. I gotta get used to it. Because you gotta place the building and then you gotta drag it in the direction that you want the machine gun to fire. Uh, the machine gun really is just a damage choker at this point in the in the development. It, really, the, the machine guns are really far too underpowered. I, I get it though; they don't, didn't want to make the, uh, the 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 infantry too vulnerable. But right now, you've got machine guns that well, they do something, but not a lot, uh, which is really uh, a shame. So. All right, more weapons you can pick up are grenades, which will turn my standard infantry into grenadiers. Um, unfortunately, it does not improve their stats as far as I noticed. It just gives them a grenade. Um, I hope they'll put more diversity into the infantry, um, kind of like in Company of Heroes, because there you could also pick up weapons, but first off, it wouldn't uh, equip everyone uh, with that weapon. It would just... Uh, um, how do you say, you know, give a, give a single weapon to that unit, so you would have a machine gun inside of that unit, but the others would sim still have their, um, would still have their, you know, normal weapons. Um, so I, I kind of hope they'll, they'll change that. Uh, oh, let's see. Yes, you are going to deal with those guys. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well, deal with that. I love how it has a knockback when it gets hit. Um, Alright, now we can use the engineers to fix that. Hopefully... Hopefully... Come on, one more shot, guys. One more shot. Alright. 
Yeah, he's still alive. Good thing. All right. That guy is dealt with. I'm gonna retire the gunners. Uh, let's see. I can also build my own. Oops, no. Wrong unit. I'm gonna build two Recon Max. I really like the Recon Max. They're probably the, the more useful uh, mechanized unit in the game. As it is. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna capture this reef point point and here we have one of the most useful weapons during this operation which is the cannon now the benefit of infantry uh, is you can actually uh, reinforce them very uh, useful I'm gonna grab these guys have them grab the cannon all right recon max great units Okay, I'm gonna have them deal with that. I'm gonna have you deal with that. Hopefully, it will go quick enough. Right. Let's see, what do you have uh, there? A shovel, which will turn units into engineers. Uh, don't need that. What I do need is that cannon. Um, third wave is incoming, and apparently they're coming from over there. You guys become Grenadiers. Uh, you go over there. Oh! Apparently I did something wrong. Alright, you guys go over there. Alright, I'm gonna use the special ability. Maybe this will do better. There we go. Come on. Use your... Wait, what's that? Oh, there we go. Okay, engineers have been taking some damage while repairing that anti-infantry mech. Um, yeah, another thing I need to keep into account. These things really bl uh, block the, the, the physical paths that you're units can take so um oh hmm ah i see yeah one one complaint i have right now is that the uh, selection is pretty sticky um so it's, it's rather hard to deselect units and now i noticed that my uh what's going on oh look at that right we can see the cannon in action right now Right, these trenches should not be underestimated. A lot of people say they have a lot of problems with the AI. Um, but I, I have to wonder, do they use the terrain properly? Because the use of terrain, and in Company of Heroes this is true as well, is extremely important. I... What was that? I saw some particular... Oh well. Let's deal with the uh, infantry that's over there. We can also use attack move, then uh, they'll attack anything they come across their path. A very useful function, and unfortunately it doesn't work yet with the, uh, the infantry. Which was very disappointing. Alright. Oh wait, there's more enemies coming. Let's see if we can... With them. And also, they are attacking. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Right. Yeah, the um, the Max really could take a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, they're far weaker against specialized weapons like the gunners, for example. Um, but. Uh, yeah, they're, they're wonder underwhelming right now, aren't they? Of course, the infantry cannot really do anything about them, but the the recon max seem to be far more useful as it stands. You can also select your units down below in the cards. By oh, 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 let's uh oh man. 
Where did you come from? Oh wait, uh, oh man. I think I already lost a single recon unit. Alright. And I think we also have a, uh, right, you know. Gunners, deal with that one, please. Okay, they're already firing at it, I think. Okay, not doing that well right now. Let's see, can we force the, um, the f you know, when you are the defending player, you really are uh, in the better position because you can reinforce your infantry. Which importance cannot be underestimated. Uh, let's see, can I flank that unit? Alright, you can go attack over that. Yeah, not a fan of this NV anti infantry mech as it stands. It's it's very underwhelming, especially because it moves as slow as it does. Uh, really unfortunate. Love this cannon though. Oh, my infantry unit has been slaughtered for some reason. Oh wait, I see there was another infantry unit back there. I didn't notice that. Yeah, uh, people have been asking for melee combat to be uh, inserted into the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they'll have any added value. Um, because... You know, these guys, um, King Art Studios has quite a challenge because you've got uh, Dawn of War. Where am I? Uh, I think these are my grenadiers. No, that's unfortunate. I need to build more. Man, I'm losing a lot of units. Why are you. What are you crawling from? go let's uh, deal with those guys I want that thing back for some reason they leave this oil uh, refinery alone don't know why not that I'm complaining by the way Yes, there is. Alright, good job, guys. Also, you'll notice that the units uh, go prone. Um, they do it a little bit, they're a little bit too eager, as far as I'm concerned, to go prone. Um, That's, uh, it's not game breaking right now, but it is kind of annoying. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Nope. This is uh, for you guys. Also, I could use the cannon, so. There we go. Come on, guys. Keep it moving. Keep going. I'm sure they're gonna do more with this. At some point. Okay, let's uh, throw a grenade in there. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Where are my gunners? Right are my gunners? Are my gunners gone? Apparently they are. That's uh, quite annoying. Fortunately I have you. 
How did I lose my gunners? I don't know. This is annoying. It really is. Um, but uh, we'll fix that. Matter of fact... No, I don't. No, I can't build gunners. Unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, it's not gonna stand a chance against that uh, anti-armor cannon. So, that's fine. There we go. Oh, what are you guys doing? That's what I mean with the sticky selection. You think you only select uh, one unit and then it turns out there is uh, another one. Alright, let's capture that resource point back. Because I am running a little low on iron. Which is not good. Alright. Let's try and deal with that infantry as well. Oh, wait, here my are my gunners. Good, 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 good. I was afraid I lost them for a moment. But yeah, uh, I was talking a little bit about striking a proper balance between Dawn of War and Company of Heroes. Now, some who are familiar with those games will say, well, they are very similar. So, is that really a, 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 a problem? Well, yes, because they are... Well, first off, one is Epic Fantasy, uh, for one. So, that's a... Uh, that's a thing. And second, um, that, that allows, because it's based on the Dawn of War, it's based on the Warhammer 40k universe, it allows for a lot of melee units, like specialist melee units. And that is, of course, very unlikely to, uh, you know, to happen in this world. So unless they are generally planning to start up some uh, specialized melee units, I don't think adding melee combat to the game is going to have any added value. I think that's really the thing that they have to be careful for because they have these awesome units. And I can understand why people want to have, um, how do you say, a special uh, you know, melee combat inside of it, I really do. But I, I don't know if it's going to add anything um, to the game as it stands. Because, you know, you're, you're, they want to strike uh, a balance between Company of Heroes and Dawn of War. That's very difficult because Company of Heroes is... Well, re I wouldn't use realistic, um, but it, it wants to be very authentic. I think that's the, the best word to describe it. And they clearly want to be both authentic, but they also want to have that kind of Warhammer fantastical element in there as well. Um, so that's really difficult to strike a proper balance uh, between it, because this game is just like Warhammer uh, 40k's Dawn of War. Uh, they want to have um, heroes. So what are those heroes going to do? Now, I can imagine they'll grant things like buffs um, to allies. I think that would be the, the best approach um, as well. Um, so, I, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, but I, I don't see what else they, they can do with that, um, to be quite honest. Um, so, it's, it's going to be very interesting indeed how they are... Uh, going to solve that because damn you are far too slow buddy um, how, are, how are they gonna solve to to strike that balance because like I already said the um, the anti-infantry mag just you know it's it's kind of laughable how weak it is it's it's great it can take on a lot of damage it can soak up a lot of damage for which I'm really grateful um, because the tank they included, the spider tank, isn't that powerful as it is. That one, and we'll see it probably get destroyed really quickly. Um, which is okay, by the way. I mean, it's. I think it's gonna. They intended to be something of a light tank, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I really am perfectly fine with that. But yeah, you know, it, it's um, it's gonna have a uh, definitely gonna have a rock paper scissors system just like Dawn of War and 
company of heroes, which is perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. Alright, uh, how's it going over there? I lost my barracks, but that's okay, quite frankly. Uh, I already lost my gunners, that is not okay. That uh, other unit's not gonna survive for very long. There we are. I don't think. Um, let's see. Yeah, the mortar crews are also being dealt with. All right. Ooh! I was not paying proper attention. Oh well, that's okay. Usually I don't have any problems with this mission, but uh, you know what? Um, I think this is fine uh, as far as impressions go. I think you've got a pretty good impression of uh, what this game is going to be, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so yeah, um, I hope to have a new playthrough in November. So look forward to that. Um, I must say, this is the first time I lost this game, by the way. A lot of people complain about the AI, that it's far too hard. I, I haven't had a, a, a real problem with it. Um, but yeah, and now I lost for once. But uh, no, I think the difficulty is, is fine as far as easy. Uh, for, for an easy AI, I, I will say it is tough. It's not impossible, it is tough. I have not uh, played on normal yet. Uh, because of, you know, I wanted to have a, a proper impression. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do a let's play uh, at some point, but I don't know, maybe. I find RTS games, especially this one, very hard to, to stream while still having to interact with you guys. So that's, that's why I uh, uh, pre-recorded this episode, because the stream version um, the sound was far too loud, and I also thought it was very distracting. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I'm uh, looking forward to more content. Um, you know, I hope they find a good balance between Dawn of War and Company of Heroes in this one. Melee combat. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to it. I, I think it's fine the way it is. Um, you know, it's nice if it's there, but you know, as far as resources go, you know, uh, from a development perspective, I mean, I think um, they need to flesh out the firing. Um, you know, the, the fire animations a lot more, uh, they need to tweak the, uh, especially the heavy machine guns a lot more, so, you know, they actually can do something about infantry at an acceptable rate. Um, now they're just damage soakers. I don't mind it that much, but yeah, I don't know. I'd like them to be a, a bigger threat than they are currently. Um, if that means you can build less mechs, uh, you know what, I will be fine with that. Um... Because I understand people want a lot of mechs, but um, you do they do clutter up the battlefield and they also become, um, you know, carcasses that are where you can take cover and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I, I hope uh, they go a little bit more the uh, Company of Heroes route when it comes to vehicles. Um, so vehicles are something special rather than, you know, just another unit you can sacrifice at the battlefield. Uh, so... Yeah, but that's just uh, my perspective. I'm sure there are a lot of people on the Discord of Iron Harvest with very different opinions on that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to what they'll do, especially what they'll do with the story, uh, because uh, the creator of this world, Jacob Rosalski, uh, you know, he just created two factions to fight each other, uh, never really went anywhere uh, beyond that when it came to story is concerned. So all the factions you have in uh, Psy, for example, the, those uh, factions were all created for that board game specifically. Um, and as I understand it, they intend to have um, uh, several of those factions inside of this game as well. So it's really interesting how uh, this world is evolving gameplay wise. Uh, for the people that want to play a full game based on this world, I think they have a digital version of the board game available on Steam that's already um, it's already been released very recently I think I could be lying about that but yeah uh, check out Scythe Digital Edition if you want to know more about that so yeah I'm really happy with the current state of the game some bugs 
but you know, it's alpha, so that's to be expected. I think they've built a very solid foundation, which left a positive impression on me. I hope for a lot more variation, especially within the infantry. We, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I didn't build a mortar unit, I didn't build a spider tank, because yeah, the mortar unit is nice, but not a little too ineffective. As it is, spider tank, not a big fan, but maybe for if you have assault maps, they are more useful. But yeah, I like it. Like it a lot. Uh, I hope this was a useful video for you guys, and I hope to see you all next time on Radio Retro Future. And as always, make things your way. Goodbye.